Thanks, Inez. Well, markets have actually had a pretty good morning here in Europe, but are starting to tail off as the futures, uh, well, as the market opens lower over there in the US. Now, the reason they have been upbeat is because of coordinated action here in the UK to tackle coronavirus. We've begun the morning with the Bank of England announcing a surprise stimulus package. They cut the headline interest rate by 50 basis points from 0.75 to 0.25. Other measures announced include targeting support for small business lending and uh, releasing the counter cyclical buffers for banks, essentially cash reserves built up to spend in times of crisis. Then just uh, in the last hour, we had the UK Chancellor delivering the budget. He announced £30 billion worth of fiscal spending to tackle coronavirus, including £5 billion of extra spending for the NHS and seven billion to support businesses and employees who are affected. Focus now shifts to the European Central Bank. The ECB will tomorrow deliver its latest policy decision. We're expecting a possible cut to interest rates, similar to what we've seen today, and also other policy measures. Uh, Christine Lagarde, the president of the ECB, all with leaders across the EU last night. And according to Bloomberg, she said she was looking at all policy measures to support the economy. However, she did warn that without coordinated actions and the support of governments, the Europe could face a crisis similar to 2008. So the pressure is really on for uh, other lawmakers across Europe to follow the UK's example and announce a lot of fiscal spending to support the monetary policy easing. Yes, a lot of pressure indeed here in the U.S. as well. Thank you, Oscar. Appreciate it.